to all. It's me again, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel. Today, we will be discussing solving problems involving three sets. Venn diagram with three sets form eight regions. Region 1 means number of elements that belong to A only. Region 2 means number of elements that belong to A and B but not in C. Region 3 means number of elements that belong to B only. Region 4 means number of elements that belong to A and C but not in B. Region 5 means number of elements that belong to A and B and C, which is the intersection of all the given sets. Region 6 means number of elements that belong to B and C but not in A. Region 7 means number of elements that belong to C only. Region 8, number of the elements that do not belong to any of the sets. These are the steps in solving word problems involving three sets. First, draw a Venn diagram with three overlapping sets or circles. Then fill in the number of elements in region 5 where the three circles overlap or the innermost region, in short, the intersection of the three sets. Next, find in the number of elements in regions 2, 4, and 6 with two overlapping parts. Afterwards, fill in the number of elements in regions 1, 3, and 7. Finally, find the number of elements in region 8. By subtracting all the number in the Venn diagram from the total number of elements. Example, there are 100 students surveyed and asked which of the following subjects they take this semester? English, Math, or Biology? Below is the result of the survey. 35 responded English, 50 responded Math, 29 responded Biology, 12 responded Math and English, 8 responded English and Biology, 11 responded Biology and Math, then 5 responded All. In this case, our diagram must contain three sets. English, Math, and Biology. First, let us identify their intersections, which is 5, because it says 5 responded all. Next, 11 responded Biology and Math. We already have 5, so 11 minus 5, the answer is 6. Next, 8 responded English and Biology. We already have 5, so 8 minus 5, the answer is 3. Next, 12 responded Math and English. We already have 5, so 12 minus 5, the answer is 7. Next, 29 responded Biology, but we already have 3, 5, and 6, so let us subtract the 3 numbers, so the answer is 15. Next, 50 responded Math. Let us subtract 7, 5, and 6. So, ang kulang na lang ay 32. Next, 35 responded English. So, let us subtract 7, 5, and 3. So, we have 20. Then, let's add everything. So, the answer is 88. But, we need 100 students. So, 100 minus 88 is equal to 12. So, meron pa tayong 12. Students do not take any of the three subjects. If the diagram is complete, we can now answer the questions below. First, how many students are not taking any of the three subjects? Not taking any of the three subjects. Very good. We have 12. Second, how many students take math but not biology or English? So, it talks about math only. So, the answer is 32. How many students take math and English but not biology? So intersection between math and English but not biology. So we When I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you 
hold up Don't need no coffee yet I've got no makeup How do you look so fine? Bust up, bust up How did I make you mine? Stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second I love this moment, yeah Stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second I love this moment Let's have another example. In a survey of 100 students, 28 of them use laptop for their online class, 36 use tablet, and 40 use cell phones. While 4 of them have laptop, tablet, and cell phone, 7 of them use either laptop or tablet, 12 of them use tablet or cell phones, and 10 of them use cell phone and laptop. Questions How many students use cell phone or tablet but not laptop? How many does not have any of the three to use for their schooling? To illustrate, let set A be the number of students who use laptop, set B for students who use tablet, and for set C, are the number of students who use cell phones. You got me feeling loved, you know I hold us up. Let me know if you ever think that I am being too much. You got me feeling loved, you know I hold us up. Let me know if you ever think that I am being too much. Just stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, I love this moment. Mathematics is not a hard subject. It's just a matter of understanding and needs you to be careful with the processes. Kapchagi negen natanajuno. Nan amu maido har suga opsachi. Chonnane banan danan iyagiga. Nor ponun sungan iyega dwesa. Bon, ya, 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 